right, take two. Welcome to it. The podcast with the Rock 95 morning crew. It's Craig, Kat, Brian. Hope you had a great week. The Oscar nominations came out uh, earlier this week. Always an exciting week. Well, maybe. Uh, there's a lot of people that are like, I haven't seen any of these movies except Oppenheimer and Barbie. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm in that boat yet. Well, there you go. <laughs> Well, some people haven't so, even heard of the so movies. Yeah. Some people haven't even heard of the movies, and that's fair. I mean, these movies uh, kind of just kind of. But it get doesn't stop people from being there. upset. It, it certainly does. It does every right? year, right? I just saw a Rolling Stone article, and they're upset. People are upset. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, there's snubs. There's always snubs. Um, yes. You think they're, they're that's one thing you can count on. Well, I mean, and that's what makes it spicy. <laughs> <laughs> right. If you don't have snubs, then it's just a boring uh, award show. But it's the first roll of snubs, right? Because you didn't get nominated. And then after the award show, yeah. if you didn't win, snubbed again. Right. Yeah. right? There are people that are, are, are really mad, not only at uh, Margot Robbie, but uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Because mm-hmm. they feel like he's been snubbed so much in his he career has, yeah. that it's like, can you not recognize that this guy's a great actor? Right. And, uh, but it's about the role, not the career. But right? it's it, right? You know, I mean, maybe there's just, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people acting. You know, there's just five better, I guess. And I love Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio, and I thought he was great in Killers of the Flower Moon. You've However, seen it twice. I have. I've seen, but seen, it- I've seen 95% of it twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. For those that don't know, I went to the theater, and the uh, the fire alarm was pulled by some snot-nosed kid. <laughs> with just a tiny with bit With just a left. tiny bit left. And I didn't know how much of a tiny bit left there was until I watched it again. I went home, and when it finally came on out, Apple. I watched it, and uh, I had ten minutes left. Oh, ten minutes left. Should have just sat in there. Yeah, let yeah. It ride. Just let it ride. I'll burn, baby. I'll burn. <laughs> Did you watch the credits, the entire sequence, just oh, to yeah, see yeah. if I missed it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Brian's got a little bit of a, a, a an Oscar quiz. This is going to take you back in time. Okay. So yeah, the snubs that's happened over the years. Yeah, and uh, I assume you'll do pretty well at this, though. You assume I'll do well at this. I'm not going to uh, brag. I don't think I will do well. <sighs> you know I you mean? say that all the time. You're great at movies. Yeah, you are great. Um, yeah, but I movies. freeze when I do these things, and then I'm like, oh, my Well, you've got Kat here I'll to help you I'll be of no help, so. but yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so best picture in 1999. I'm going to give you the nominees, okay. and these are, I will remind you, 99 means the movies came out in 99. 98, right. So I'll give you the nominees, and then you tell me what won. Okay. And maybe it's going to surprise you again. When you look back at some of the nominees, and you go, that didn't that, that Yeah, didn't that beat that. Okay. So best picture, 99, Elizabeth. Yep. Life is Beautiful. Okay. Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. Shakespeare in Love. Oh, my God. The Thin Red Line. Shakespeare in Love. Was Shakespeare it? in yeah, Love. Yeah, I know she won That's for what that. won. Well, that, and you, when you think, when you hear those nominees, you're like, well, it was Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. That's, that's the movie that everybody thinks of. It's the one to go to. Absolutely. Uh, no. I know she won, and I remember her the dress she was wearing. <laughs> oh, do you? Oh, well, there you go. You <laughs> can help. <laughs> 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 well. That's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, best Actor in 2018. So a little bit more recent. God. Oh, dear. Timothy Chalamet, Call Me By Your Name. Okay. Gary Oldman, Darkest Hour. Yep. Daniel Day-Lewis, The Phantom Thread. I believe that's his last role so far. Was, right? yeah. I think that was, yeah. Uh, Daniel Kaluuya, Get Out. And Denzel Washington and Roman J. Israel Esquire. It was uh, it was uh, Gary Oldman. It was Gary Oldman. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. People were not happy about that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he did not. a good job. No. Uh, the makeup was better than the acting. <laughs> <laughs> I think they won for makeup as well. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And, yeah. they, and acting. That, yeah. Those were the two. So who did they want to win then? Um, I, people said uh, Daniel Day-Lewis, obviously, just because they throw his he name out all the it time. Was his final one. Too. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Daniel Kaluuya as well. Get Out. That got a lot of okay, hype that year, right? but I don't think year, he right? deserved an act. I mean, he was great in it. But. Did you yeah. see Gary Oldman in The Darkest Hour? No. No. <laughs> See that one first. Um, best picture, 2013. All right. We're going back. Beasts of the Southern Wild. Right. Django Unchained. Mm-hmm. Les Mis. Argo. Life of Pi. Lincoln. Silver Linings Playbook. Zero Dark Thirty. Didn't was Silver Linings Playbook long win list. a bunch? Uh, no, it was Argo. Argo it was won, Argo? Right? Was Ar- Argo won. I know. Yeah. I don't doubt it. <laughs> I just wanted to know you to know that I know it got nominated. <laughs> and were people mad about that too? Um, well, it's all about you know looking back, right? Here right. we are, ten years later. Yeah. Look back. Have you watched Argo again? I have. Have you it's recommended it for other people? Yes. Have you seen Django more? Have you seen Life of Pi, Lincoln, Silver Linings Playbook? I have watched Django you know? and 
and Argo. Actually, I don't again. know if I've seen any more of those movies more than once. You know, that's those. Are, yeah, You're I think I watched that fan. twice. I watched that twice. Go. Yeah, yeah. And then, wasn't there problems with Argo too? Like, didn't they, the ending wasn't real or they, something they, like that? Uh, they fudged they it a little bit. I don't think yeah. they were chasing them down the runway. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if he got nominated, Ben Affleck, for a director. Oh, maybe not. I and then it's yeah. it's weird if you don't, you know, usually, right? Best if you yeah. win director, you go to yeah, yeah, yeah. best picture. Okay. 95. All right. You guys are familiar with this year. Four Weddings and a Funeral, Pulp <laughs> right. Fiction, Forrest Gump, Quiz Show, The Shawshank Redemption. God. And I'll give you that one, Kat. We go, know you it's, go ahead. It's, it, was, it, was it was Forrest Gump. Gump. It was Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump, yeah, best yeah, yeah. picture. But yeah. I could Everyone's see why people Shawshank. were mad about that. Shawshank and Pulp Fiction, too, right? Right. Those, you know, Both of those. Both of those. Uh, well, even Forrest Gump. I'm not mad about it. I mean, no, I like Pulp Fiction and movie. Shawshank better. But you know what? Most people, I think, do. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, Forrest Gump's got that friendly appeal. That's right. You know what I mean? It's got that feel-good story. So Shawshank was great, too. (laughs) He did crawl through miles and miles of whatever. Well, and there was was also the uh, scene with the sisters. (laughs) (laughs) We don't die. Yeah, you're right. All right. How did you forget that? <laughs> All right, let's go through some uh, stories, some trending topics here. Um, names, baby names. Got some ones that are going extinct. No. Oh. So uh, I'm going to give you the full list of That's these. That's a sad way to put it, even. Yeah, they're names that are just not popular anymore. So uh, take a listen to these. Uh, we'll give you the top 10 girls' names. Michelle. What? Is on the list of girls' names that may not be around in a, in the coming years. I can, I mean, I know a ton my age. Yeah. But yeah, that makes sense. Amanda. Finley. Finley, was that ever... <laughs> was that ever... <laughs> I don't think I know why. Does anybody <laughs> ever know why? Uh, Reagan. Again? Yeah. Uh, I did uh, grow up with Reagan. Her name was Reagan Bone. Oh, and it's just and a Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, that wasn't a great name, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, Charlie, without an E. Without an E, okay. Yeah, because yeah, you know what they, they decided? Yeah. Put the E back on. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Brooklyn, Mackenzie, Blake, and uh, and Brooke. It's Brooklyn and Brooke, so. That's Nobody so likes the bees. <laughs> yeah, and then for, for boys, Clayton. Clayton. I actually hate that name. You don't like that name? Yeah. Did you know it, Clayton? I knew a couple, yeah. Yeah, okay. They're both jerks. Jerks, okay. Did you date one of them? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Bradley. Brad? Name, yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, Ronan. Don't know a Ronan. Nasir. Another Brad. Oh, no, Brady. Hold Sorry, on. Brady. Oh Brady. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we hate it so much. <laughs> it's Brady. Like his name, Bam. Yeah, Reed, Raiden, Johnny, Jaden, and Julius round out the uh, top ten. Ju, ju, ju. So, uh, yeah, if you got one of those names in your life, I think Jaden's because of Will Smith's kid, to be honest with you. <laughs> Don't say rare about Johnny. I know. It's Don't not say like, rare. It feels like that's one of the most That's also you're just choosing to name your kid a nickname. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, Kevin Fest is uh, going to come back, and they are looking for people to perform. So if you're in a band and you'd like to get on stage on uh, a great exposure kind of atmosphere. Big opportunity. Oh, yeah. It's a big opportunity and have a little fun. Look at it as fun. Absolutely. Because uh, it is a good time, right? Uh, and they're looking for acts. So local acts to get in there. You want to get your um, your submission in by March 15th. So if you got a band that you think's got the stuff to open <laughs> up I Kevin I there was multiple stages last year as well. Yeah. You yeah, know, there, there was. There was the There's lots of room, right? Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah. KevinFest.com uh, if you want to uh, submit your application in there. And we saw the ending, or at least the beginning of the end of Sports Illustrated. Yeah, sad. So, so that was kind of sad. Did you ever uh, have a subscription or yeah, anything? Yeah, we had a subscription. You did, did you? House, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's... You know I what, Meg? know what happened to the it, to be honest. We could still be paying for that. <laughs> the swimsuit <laughs> edition, yeah. I actually am very sad about magazine subscriptions going down just because um, it was it was fun to go to your mailbox and see something Absolutely. like that. That's not junk mail? That's not bills. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's it, it's something. And Sports Illustrated was, uh, was iconic in, in uh, what they did. Yeah, but the way they did it was nuts. They just fired everyone. Oh, yeah. That, that was Friday, crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They laid off everybody. And this is because the parenting company revoked their marketing license that allowed them to publish the magazine, so they didn't really uh, have a magazine to put out, so they laid everybody off, and now we've got the, uh, the loan... CEO, I guess, kicking around the office. Going, what, to <laughs> do? what to do? What to do? What to do? And the doomsday clock. Let's talk about this. It didn't change again. Uh, so it's at 90 seconds. 
to midnight. Now, what the doomsday clock is, is if we get closer to the midnight hour, we're uh, we're all doomed. And if we get further back, then we feel a little better. 90 seconds is the closest we've ever been. It uh, was set at that last year, so they didn't move it because we're no better or worse than when we were. Hmm. Um, the furthest it's been back was in 1991. We were 19 minutes back. 19 minutes. We were all sleeping you know comfortably. What, yeah, you know what that meant, exactly. Yeah. And, not uh, a clue. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure at all. That's fair, yeah. The doomsday clock seems uh, it just seems fictitious, right? Like yeah, it's just... and, and given the state of the world right now, I feel like we should be much closer. Honestly. You don't like 90 seconds, right? No, it should. we should be like, you know, it's not really a warning. Especially if it's the same, like, well, we managed, we right. survived. Just stay <laughs> the exact same. Now, is where is the clock? Is there a real clock? There's a real clock. Have you ever seen them? Where is There's it? three no. scientists. Uh, you know what? I don't know where it is. I wish when I had it, an answer too, for I that. imagine like three guys in white jackets. That's exactly uh, what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to Craig, Cat, and Brian, the Rock 95 Morning Crew. Weekday mornings 530 to 10 on Barry's Rock Station. Rock 95.